Hello, I am Sujoy and I welcome you to my new series of tutorials on curve fitting. This is my seventh video in the series. In my first video, I told you about the basics of curve fitting. In my second video, I told you how to fit a straight line by method of group averages. In my third video, I told you how to fit a quadratic equation by method of group averages. In my fourth video, I told you about the graphical method of curve fitting. In my fifth video, I told you how to do curve fitting directly on this Casio FX Nano on ES scientific calculator. And in my sixth video, I told you how to do curve fitting directly on this Casio FX 82 MS scientific calculator. And today in my seventh video, I will tell you how to do curve fitting by the method of least squares. So let's start the video. Our question is find the straight line that best fits the following data by least squares method. This is our given data set where some values of x and corresponding values of y are given. So let's proceed to the solution. The line to be fitted for the data is y equals to ax plus b because it's given in the question the line will be a straight line and we know the equation of the straight line is y equals to ax plus b where a and b are the constants needs to be calculated and the number of samples or small n is equals to 6. The number of sample is 6 because we have total 6 pairs of x1 y values. These are our first pair, the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So the number of samples is 6. And one note for you, y is equals to ax plus b is also written as y equals to a plus bx. I have explained this representation in my fifth and sixth video on curve fitting that is on my curve fitting calculator tutorials. So for least squares method, we have to remember these two formulas. They are very easy. I will explain it to you. So our first formula, a into sum of x plus n into b is equals to sum of y. And our seventh formula, a into sum of x squares plus b into sum of x is equals to sum of xy. So that I have written here. I have made four columns. In first column, I have written all the x values given in the table. In the second column, I have written all the y values given in the table. And the third column is x into y. So in our first row, x is 1, y is 2. So x, y is 1 into 2, 2. In second row, x is 2, y is 4. So x into y is 8. Similarly, we can find out the remaining x into y values. Next is x square values. So in our first row, x is 1. So x square is also 1. In our second row, x is 2. So x square is 4. Similarly, we can find out the remaining x square values. So here the normal equations are first is a into sum of x. So the sum of all x values is 21 so that is 21 into a next is n into b n is 6 so that is plus 6b equals to sum of y so sum of all y values is 48 so that's equals to 48 written here and this is our equation number one in our equation number two that is a into sum of x square so sum of all x squared value is 91 written here. So that's equals to 91a plus b into sum of x. Sum of x is 21. So that is 21b equals to sum of xy. So sum of all x into y value is 211. So that's equals to 211. These are our equation number 2. So by solving equation number 1 and equation number 2, we get a is equals to 2.45714 and b is equals to minus 0.6. Do you know you can directly solve two linear equations on this Casio Apex Nano on ES scientific calculator. To know more about this, please watch my video on equation solver mode of this calculator. Link to that is given in the video description below. So we know the values of a and b. So if we put the values of a and b in this equation, we will get our equation of the line. So the straight line 
fitted for the data is y equals to ax so a is 2.45714 into x plus b and b is minus 0.6 that is minus 0.6 you can easily verify the equation of the line for that take any value of x let's say for x equals to 6 we know the y value should be 14 let's verify it our equation of the line is y equals 2.45714 into x so that is 2.45714 into 6 minus 0.6 that's equals to 14.14 or nearly equals to 14 so we can say our equation of the line is correct. Isn't it cool? So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this. So if you appreciate my effort, please like and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.